And arrested on the interstate, now eight people will spend Thanksgiving in jail after their march shut uh, down lanes of I-75. Those people were in court just hours ago. Nine on your side's Evan Millward was there too. He joins us live with what happens next. Evan? Well, Carol, right now, those eight are sitting here in the Hamilton County Justice Center in jail. I was just told that some parents of some of these folks are actually waiting to try and see if they can see some of these folks because they won't be going home for Thanksgiving. They're going to be here until Monday. They're charged with inducing panic. Some, uh, most also charged with disorderly conduct. Those are just misdemeanors and about $3,000 bond. But like I said, they're not leaving anytime soon because they were also assigned electronic monitoring devices and didn't get through that process yet today. Now, all these folks are local despite rumblings last night that there might have been outsiders in that group. None of them spoke in court, but they did all plead not guilty to these charges. Our cameras also picked up some of them waving to some of those family members now waiting here at the jail. The city today is defending its decision to arrest those protesters, saying they had to do it to keep safety. Obviously, it's totally unacceptable to interfere with a highway. It's extremely dangerous, and we won't stand for it. And they didn't. And uh, people were arrested. It ended quickly. And I think the police did a good job. Now, of those eight, one was arrested not on the highway, but right here downtown. And right now, I am talking to the attorney for some of those folks. We are working to get some more information from him. Hopefully, we'll have that for you tonight at 11. Until then, we're live downtown. Evan Millward, 9 on your side.